Good morning, everybody. Good morning from a semi-cloudy day <laughs> in the Philippines. I tell you, it's the tropics. You're gonna get sun one minute and storms the next. Well, it's a nice day here, man. The air feels so good. There's a little slight breeze. Um, I do know there's a system trying to move in from the Pacific side, coming from Guam, heading down towards uh, Mindanao and maybe up through the Visayas area here and all. So I need to keep an eye on that. These videos are a little delayed, so the news out today that's the hot breaking news today real time but you're probably going to see this a few days late is the restrictions being lifted yeah good morning how are you <laughs> uh, cruising on this harley all right let's digress back the big news the big news is is the travel restrictions are being lifted you know get this uh, new president in here that's really focused to get the economy fired back off and let's let people start roaming free again and so right now you can come in even unvaccinated but you got to get an antigen test either before you fly or after you land here I really really push do not do it after you land here because what if you come back positive what if well then there's still gonna be that quarantine issue who wants to deal with that so don't be lazy and say, oh, I'll just do it when you get there to the airport because it's probably not going to turn out in your favor. <laughs> yeah, it's just an antigen test and you never know. And as cheap as they are, if you got one and it came back positive on you or something, go get another one. Go somewhere else, get another one. Go same place, get another one. It may come back with a whole other result. So, because they're just a really cheap and quick antigen test. You're not supposed to do a home kit. You still got to go get an official laptop report or whatever so um, uh, as far as i know home kid ain't gonna jive um, outdoor mask wearing was uh lifted you know weeks ago and that you could do it on, by your own choice now indoor mask wearing has been lifted and you can do it by your own choice it's voluntary um with some exceptions on public transportation and in hospitals if you're in a hospital or medical facility, they still want you to wear it. That's good common sense anyway. Come on, man. There's a lot of people in there sick with a lot of different things. So uh, you need to be doing that anyhow. That's just good protocol. I'll show you some work going on down here in one of these guest rooms. This is going to be the smaller, the smallest of our guest rooms. I didn't get this on video because it happened while I was gone. I wasn't here. I was in the city handling some business. But my mom poured the concrete countertop right here. Now we'll come back over and laminate this with a tile that looks like marble. Uh, it's a way cheaper way to do it. The tile is not that expensive. It's real thick. It's real durable. And it's got this hole already pre-made where the sink's going to go right here. So what we got right here is I am going to build a netted fence around my ponds here. I've had this GI pipe here for a while for doing this. These were long pieces. We split them into twos. I want it for safety right here. I don't want to worry about a child, me not knowing or something, fall into one of these ponds. Maybe they whack their head. Maybe they struggle and can't get out. Maybe they panic. Although, you have kids playing right here at the shore and around the open wells and water all the time. Give me a peace of mind. It'll give me a peace of mind when I'm not here. I'm going to put a gate on it and I'm going to lock it. Waiting for him to stop drilling there. So now he's setting up the countertop right here that we're going to pour in concrete. So he's drilling in around. Well, it's lunchtime here. The guy's been gone about 10 15 minutes for lunch my goodness is it pouring down now man look at this boy it is coming down man it's coming down Let me 
to smell. She's feeling a little bit better today, but she's kind of had a second round with being under the weather and ill. And in fact, you was pretty much in the bed yesterday, wasn't you? Yep. And she seems to be doing a little bit better today, but I told her, don't get out and overdo it, though, just to recover. So uh, she's chilling like a villain. Well, it's about, I don't know, it's probably about an hour after lunch. Guys come back, still trying to rain, but not like it poured down when they were at, at lunch, man. It really poured down then. And they've got three more poles uh, dug and set and tied off all plumb. And they're going to do a little mix here and fill those in. I've uh, got one set right here close where I'll put a, a gate going into my little pen here around the fish tanks. Yeah, he's scraping and scrounging every junk piece of wood we have left to make uh, this sink form here. <laughs> Man, because I'm telling you, all that plywood's just about all gone forever. He's getting it there. And in here in this room, You can see here, you got this one poured. Now, if you want to know what these are, this is uh, just to leave a hole in the form. We'll take this out. This to leave a hole in the form all the way through in the little slab here for that sink drain right here. This is where that sink drain is. So that's what this is. And this will sit right in the middle here. And then this one back here, we made it a little bit bigger because this is where a faucet will come down onto the counter behind that bowl and in. And same thing, we'll knock this out after the concrete cures. Or actually, I can probably twist it out of here after it's sitting a little bit like this. I can probably take them out now. See that? There you go. I can probably do this one too. And there you go. Don't even have to wait. If you wait, they'll get hard to knock out. You'll probably break them. But it's set enough. There you go. Hole for the faucet and hole for the sink. Now here's the deal on the faucet. The faucet is gonna go through that thick tile that we're putting on top. And you know, it's got a plate and stuff and you tighten down. You need a little extra space underneath there to put the plate and hardware and all. So uh, that's the reason this hole here is oversized, but it's gonna be made just right in the laminate that's gonna go over the top of it, which is gonna be that really thick tile is about three eighths of an inch and set over the top of that. So that's the story with that. And if I don't want to have a real sharp edge underneath there uh, to work later, I can take my finger right now and I can dig out some of that around the bottom. Actually, I'll get a tool and dig some of that out and I'll kind of fan it open there a little bit in the bottom. You are wondering about the wood bar top and I want to show you this right here. This is clear laminating epoxy. You see right here for these projects like this. You can see right here in these pictures. Clear laminating epoxy. I also bought polyester resin right here. Instead of the epoxy, it's polyester. I could take some of the areas I want to fill in slowly and mix this not too hot with this resin and you'll have to put thin layers or it'll crack. So I need to use thin layers and put a little bit, thin layers and put a little bit. And then what the plan is, is then put the finish coatings over with this. So then I would sand this. You can sand it afterwards, even though it's gonna look really milky and cloudy when you sand over the top of it. When you put something like this, it's clear back over it again, it'll become translucent again. But the deal is I want to do some sample areas first with some pieces of wood just like it. And I want to just take a little drop off of wood and mock up just exactly how I would be doing it, putting that epoxy on, putting that polyester resin on. But it is so wet and humid right now. As you see, it's raining again, pouring down rain. And I don't want to do it in the pouring down rain. Now, yes, I could go inside my garage in here, but honestly, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want 
uh, to do it in here. I just don't want to. I just want to wait for a pretty day. And it's not just about doing it outside. I don't know how that humidity, whether I'm in the garage or outside, it is humid as heck when we get these rains like this. And that humidity could have an effect. And you know, the wood's gonna draw that humidity in and then I'm going to encase that humidity into the wood. So Joel and Nardo, they almost got this CR done. Getting up there right to the last of it. Right to the last of it. It's going to look so good. That's not a sound effect. <laughs> That's my brother-in-law leaving on that little uh, Yamaha crotch rocket. Yeah, <laughs> it happened to be right when I started recording for the the bicycles here, he starts his bike. That was like perfect timing, like these bikes were running like a big engine. So, uh, just got through changing the seat on Mel's bike. She did part of it and then I helped her finish it up, get it tight, get it straight. And she loves riding this bike. She's been taking it up, riding it to the market. You like it, but she didn't like this little skinny seat. I didn't think she even really needed one with all that padding she's got on the bike. <laughs> but uh, apparently the padding needs padding. And so she wanted that thick seat that we brought from her bike from the U.S. right there. Yes. It's got that gel in it. And so, um, yes, yeah, what we just did, same thing. Mine's got this memory foam. I guess not gel. Well, it says they have gel in them. They also have a memory foam in them. And this one here probably don't want to remember. Yeah, hey, but I guess. What's can that? You, can you put that one like uh, the basket here or at the back? Can you do that one? Yeah, we'll have to find one because for it. If I go in town, you know, I like just to go by the market, some other stuff, you know. But... Well, what we need to do is probably stop at one of those bike shops mm -hmm. and see if they got any baskets there. And I think probably I'd like to do this one, go in the market with this. It's nice because town's not that far away. She can roll up there. She don't have to wait for her tricycles or any of that kind of stuff and if you take a car up there it's so jam-packed there's no place to hardly park a car and wherever you park it they're wanting you to move so this is the best way right here you know roll in there real quick with a bicycle if you got a little old basket man yeah it's definitely the way back in the saddle Again. Oh. oh yeah, man, you stepping in it, ain't you? Huh? Oh, you That's right. You know about being a cowgirl, huh? Uh-oh. It's a good Okay, you saved that one for my <laughs> for your plants? Yeah. Yeah, we got our own fertilizer factories now. Baka. Baka wala. <laughs> Baka. Uh, is it true that a healthy cow is a happy cow, huh? Yes. Huh? <laughs> like, like me. <laughs> See? She agrees. <laughs> uh. There's a false there. I heard it. Yeah, I hear water pouring off the house over there. Look at the trees are just taking that house over. <laughs> 